Well, YouTube, here we are, prepping for the weekend. A good weekend trip involves a lot more work than just uh, going out on the day of. So I went out today, and I caught me some really good bait. So we should be loaded down for this weekend's activities. Look at these guys here. Hopefully I don't drop my camera in the water. We got some common carp, and then we're loaded down with shad. And I mean monster shad. So, did all the hard work. Now it's time to hopefully put a giant in the boat. So I will see you once we get on the water this weekend. What is happening YouTube? Here we are on our lonely river island. I can't believe I got this set up in time. Don't have much daylight after work to get this all set up. It's Friday night. There, there we are. You can see the river out there. I'm tucked back in and yeah, I'm. Uh, it's a really muddy island right here because I'm not camping where it's comfy. I'm camping where the fish are. Got the boat sand anchor pinned in and now we're ready to out, go out and do some fishing. And then we'll probably end up here late night and just uh, bank fish out of the boat. It's supposed to be cloudy tonight, nothing crazy. Hopefully the rain, the rain is supposed to, in theory, dodge us, but the weatherman is, you know how that goes this time of year. But it should be a good night. All right, I'm gonna just start with the shad on top. Let's see if uh, that does the trick. Hopefully it doesn't bring in the gar. That's one thing I would hopefully not like to mess with tonight. We're gonna use nothing but giant baits this evening. So I got so much bait, I'm not even worried about it. I'll try buffalo on one, why not? fish guys hit it way harder than uh, I think it wants to play in my motor it's one of those deceptive fish I'm telling you Decent one though. Well, if I would get out the net and I uh, still don't use it. I don't know. My buddy gave me these grips, and I usually would frown upon in my early days, but they're pretty convenient, I will say. Okay guys, so here's fish number one. Let me a little 36. Nice fish right there. Alright. Back you go. That was a pretty good start. I don't know, hopefully I got that takedown on camera. That was, it really was a pretty nice one. It had rip and drag in the rod holder and absolutely smacked it. 
anyways, it's a good sign. We're gonna stay here for a little while, that's for sure. So let's get another bait out there. This one ain't very big at all. They're all been out towards the current so far. guys here's number two nice little fish good news is is uh, every bite that's happened so far tonight has been very aggressive so it makes me think fish are on the move and they're they're actively hunting right now so it's a good sign hopefully they keep smacking them like that That was a bit more serious. Moving quite a bit of water. Good fish here, guys. Prepare the cabin for him, I guess. Look at this one, guys. That's a dandy. <coughs> That's a good one right there, guys. Let's get some measurements and quick weight, snap a photo and send him on his way. 53 and a half inch long, 53 and a half by 32. <sighs> 72 guys. You can see that, of course. Yeah, there it is. I'll zero it out. Seventy-two, fifty-three and a half by thirty-two inch. November biggin. It's about ten o'clock, I think, and uh, had to wait this one out for sure. But it's a good one. Let's get him back in the water. Ugh.
And there he goes. All right, guys. Give it 45 minutes from here. No bites. It's time to move on. I'm gonna try a similar kind of spot, but um, just kind of further down river. All right, guys. Struck out at the last few spots. We're back at the campsite now. We're in the hole, but I'm actually on the opposite end of it. Um, I just want to test over here first before I go back over there. But we're gonna we're gonna give the real the real baits to the test here. Look at the size of this shad. We've got like a 15 inch shad here. And we are going to test it out, see if it catches a fish. I mean, this thing is just huge. So I should get plenty of baits out of this for all four rods. All right, guys. Well, it is 2.30, and I am a little sleepy. I've been up since early this morning, so... Um, we're gonna do is uh, get over to where the tent is and then I'll uh, set rods up. I'll fish with them overnight, but I'll, uh, I'll put bells on them that hopefully I wake myself up to uh, hear a fish if we get one. Just went to bed and I heard the bills. Feels decent. There we go, guys. Last minute blue there. They always wait for me to go to bed, especially when I'm right here. Had to scramble out of the tent, put my shoes on, headlamp and everything. I knew this would happen. Thirty eight point seven. Nice fish there. Thirty eight. Nice little late night action there. I think it's getting close to three AM. I don't know why I even attempt to sleep on these trips sometimes, but uh, I'd rather that happen than, than it not. So I'm going to turn out the lights again and go back to bed. And if we catch another one, we catch another one. I was asleep for this one, guys. I'm not sure what time it is now. And there we 
go, guys. Good morning, YouTube. Just emerged from my five star crib. Actually, wasn't too bad. Actually, wasn't too bad. But in reality, the uh, the fish actually kept me up tonight, which is not a bad problem at all. I kept getting bites, waking up probably every hour, roughly. So um, it was good. Um, the good news is I don't really have anywhere to be this morning, and it's not particularly cold. So I think I'm going to keep fishing for a bit. Just for a little while and just see what happens. But assuming I don't get anything, what a fantastic trip that was. Anytime you get a fish over 70, that's a good trip in my book. So um, thanks as always for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.